I'm gonna try to give you an update on the goats. They are, what, nine days away from 140. They are supposed to kid around day 145. But I was talking to this lady who said that, yes, that's true, but their window is really between 140 and 150 which means that they could get between July the 25th and August the 5th. So, let's go check on them and see how they're doing. Good morning, boy. <gasps> Can't see anybody. <gasps> Is everybody there? I think they are. I'm gonna go get their Food first. Right now, I am feeding them this hay. Can you open the door because otherwise it looks terrible. It's not the greatest hay I've ever gotten for them. It's orchard and Timothy mix. And to add to that, I'm doing alfalfa pellets although I don't know where my little container is so I'm gonna go get that good morning how is everyone doing good morning my great boy Rocky good morning big boy baby good morning my boy ay 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 you're so itchy good morning Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Clara. How's everyone doing? Hi. How are you, baby, Mama? This is Annabelle. And she's carrying those babies up the bottom. I mean, yeah, it is on the right side. And you can see it in Mocha. Can you see how her right side is ginormous? But then Annabelle, as you can see, compared to Mocha, this is her right side, and that's her right side. Oh, hi, mommy. I'll feed you in just one second. I know pregnant ladies are hungry. I'm so sorry. Uh, she, I was worried about Annabelle because I wasn't sure if she was actually bred. I know that it happened and everything, but look, she doesn't look pregnant at all. She was looking in the beginning and then all of a sudden her belly is bigger than her baby bump. But I've been and it, it, she's one of those goats that she is kind of um, she doesn't want me to oh there you can see it a little bit better. Um, she doesn't want me to be messing with her babies too much. Mocha will let me. I the other day I decided to pet her for uh, like 30 minutes. Let me put this here. Okay, okay, okay. No, everyone needs to come down. Okay, we're all going. So the other day I spent like 30 minutes, I'm not kidding you, 30 minutes um, feeling her belly and putting her at the same time and yes I could feel all the baby. So yeah with mocha it's easier because Mocha is a little bit more like she likes to snuggle and Annabelle she's kind of trying to fight her way up the chain although I'm pretty sure she's number one by now but she's really trying so it's not that she's kiddish or anything she's super sweet but she is moving around a lot 
and kind of keeping tabs on everyone. So anyways, I have to put it in here. We have a bunch of projects that need to happen here. Like I need the water bucket, this water bucket over there. I'm gonna put a little hay feeder over there. I'm gonna do a mineral. I mean, I think I'm gonna run out of wall space to hang everything that they need for when they have their babies. This is a pretty small area for a human, but it's pretty big for her. Although, I think this weekend we're gonna do the gate here, and that way we can open it this way. It's gonna have to be hanging or something because of that bottom and the straw and hay and everything, but that's the idea. So they can stay here with their babies. I'm gonna try to do something that they can see through so they don't feel like they're alone with their babies. They can see their mama, oh, she's beautiful, she is beautiful. And same thing on this other side. I'm gonna show you this uh, the other time. And what I've been doing for bedding is just basically seeing that's overnight things. So I just cover them, cover the whole thing with new straw. And I'm letting it build up. I know it's not winter, but it works. Oh yeah, Annabelle, you're so cute. You have a big belly, but your belly is kind of um, awkward looking. And your belly is also very beautiful. They're, they think that I have more. Sometimes I give them just a little bit and then I give them more before I leave. I think that's what they're thinking. But look at that. Can you see that right side? Of Annabelle, I mean she's barely showing, but I think she's carrying her baby at the bottom, you know, her belly. Oh, she loves to scratch herself against this bag. And then Mocha, she's a giant. So let me fix the leg. So instead of carrying them here, she's carrying them in the bottom. That's what they call a deep body doll. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Yeah. I'll give you a fresh hay, okay? They are extremely hungry all the time. Clara is in a dewormer because, I don't know, I think after we moved she got a heavy load of worms or parasites and it's taking her a while. I mean she eats very well but I still think that she's too sunken in so hopefully this time works but we're gonna do hay okay you can go in there and eat not everyone that feeds them lets them get in the f in here while we do this but I let Clara because even though she is the herd queen she's not a dominant though she's too sweet and so her daughter Annabelle she's growing up to be that I think she wants to be you know the dominant doe the dominant in the pen so that's what's going on so I kind of a more lenient with Clara. I let her eat while I do this. I could have done it while they were inside, but I think, I don't know, they enjoy this routine. Uh, the boys are kind of silly and they will jump in here, but the girls typically, they just want to reach the hay and that's it. I have to go get more. It's been kind of hard to find orchard hay and good quality ones. That's that's even harder. I found this place 
on Craigslist that they have, you know, it's, I am assuming it's a place where they do lots of hay and they have orchard and they have alfalfa te um, hay. Um, Annie, we're not doing that to the camera, Mama. So they have alfalfa, they have orchard, they have timothy, and they have some mixes. So I, I think I'm gonna try to do that. Cause I, I think I read it's 18 per bale. And this one that is not great, I think I paid 26 each bale. Getting to the time where you now I have still, I still have about nine days to be finding things and getting ready for birth and you know, all the little things that add up. But then I'm gonna have to kind of stick around and see because they're first fresheners and I just, just would hate for them to be alone when it happens. We're gonna go to your breakfast pot now, okay? Okay, let's go. Clara, mama, let's go, mommy. Let's go, let's go, girls. You're gonna stay in there, Duke? Look what he does. Okay, okay, bye, Duke. Come on, Clara. Come on, ah, now you want, come on, mama. Come on, come on, honey. Honey, let's go. There you go, mama. Good girl. Here it is, in case you've forgotten. Try to put it out here because since it's not raining, I mean, there's a little bit of a drizzle every once in a while, but that's basically what it is. And in the trees, you can't, I mean, this won't get wet. And so, they like it here. They get to climb this part. There you go. Like a little tree on a hill. And that way they're not inside. When it's raining, we typically leave it inside the bag of hay. But if it's not, I'd rather have them eat outside. Even though, yes, they waste a lot. Then they poop on it. Oh my goodness, is that good breakfast, mommy? I typically just refill their waters and leave them alone for a while. Claire loves to be pet while she eats. You're like, oh, Mama Clara. Look at these pregnant ladies, they're desperate. They're so hungry. And it's a good thing that Annabelle is over there because if she was, where are Oh, that's a cow. <laughs> if she would have been where Mocha is, she'd be bullying all of the others. <laughs> well, there you go, she started. But Duke, you're asking for it. Why would you put your butt over there? Come here, boy. You guys can eat from here. Oh, look. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, Annabelle, she's multitasking. She's always multitasking. She's bullying somebody while she's eating, and she's so hungry. I, I mean... And Duke is a little bit shy right now until the girls are done eating, and then he'll go and try to eat. Although he's trying to eat whatever he can find around. Oh, poor baby Duke. Soon you're gonna be with your brother in another pen. And Rocky's acting like, look, I'm eating from the bottom. Whatever is left. His little goatee's coming.
Clara is extremely needy mocha, this one right here. So she's not only extremely pregnant, but she's also very sweet and she likes to be pet a lot. And Annabelle over there, she loves to be pet, but I feel like she thinks she's gonna miss out on something going on in the pen. So she'll stay for about, you know, five minutes with you and then she'll run after you, you know, the boys. Kind of keep them in touch to who's the boss of the pan. Clara, don't do that, mama. You know what happened last time you did that. There he goes. <laughs> and I'm always like, move, Moga. I'll keep them away from the food. Clara is the sweetest. She lets the boy eat, eat by her. And Annabelle can't make, make up his, her mind. She moves from one side to the other and see she's eating, but she's keeping an eye out for Duke. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Baby Duke. Why, are you, why? You're not eating. You're just getting in the way so you get bullied out of it. I have to say that he doesn't... I mean, he's not easy to love, that's all I'm saying. By goats, by humans, yes, he is a sweet boy. Look at that face. He has a little eyebrow and those little brown and black. <laughs> he's so cute. And he's super sweet. But he's not smart and he's always getting bullied out of the food. But look at what he's doing, he's not eating. He's just sticking his butt there. And Annabelle will not have it. He's also weathered, but he's been trying to bread Clara, who I haven't catch her in heat. So I don't know if it means that Rocky got her a few months ago, and I knew that was a possibility and I was okay with it. Even if we have winter babies, but I don't know. She's also trying to breed Mocha, and Mocha's already pregnant, and he doesn't dare try with Annabelle because he knows what's, what's up with that. So there are a million and one projects that need to happen before the girls have their babies. Covering the bottom of the goat shed or barn because they can crawl underneath and I won't be able to get them out because I won't fit there. And a bunch of other things. I have to train them to the stand. I haven't done that yet and I think that's very important. So there's a lot that needs to happen in the next 10 to 15 days. Right now I am trying to enjoy seeing them pregnant.